Well, good day, everyone. Uh, very happy to have you in attendance for this uh, very special mini seminar slash workshop slash conversation. Uh, like to welcome uh, Simon Singer. Simon, how are you? Pretty good, Bradley. How are you? I am excellent, thanks, and on time and everything. Uh, we are happy to have you with us here today because we're going to spend a little over an hour together uh, and talk about some very, very interesting topics. Uh, I am Brad Etheridge, the Chief Marketing Officer for the Center for Tax Strategies and Resources. For those of you that uh, don't know about us yet, we are a very interesting group. Uh, we are all about helping advisors, planners, asset gatherers, CPAs, tax attorneys, increase the performance of their of their practice and help grow their practice income through ideas and concepts and strategies and things that we believe help you to get in front of enough of the right kind of people under favorable conditions, that being primarily tax savings and tax saving strategies. Uh, we are going to leave a little bit of time at the end. If you have any questions, you'll be able to punch those in and uh, time permitting, we'll get to those. If not, we will respond to you individually. Uh, we are a membership-based group. We'll talk a little bit about that, and we have a exceptionally exciting academy coming up here uh, very shortly, so we'll give you some information on that, let you know how you can uh, apply to attend that event. Uh, at this point, I am going to turn over the mic to Simon Singer. He's the founder of the Center for Tax Strategies and Resources. For those of you that don't know Simon, he's been successfully in the financial services industry since 1966. He is in the uh, top one-tenth of 1% 1 of all producers in the U.S. and has been for several years. He's been a member of some very uh, prominent organizations and groups in our industry, uh, Advisors and Philanthropy, uh, past president of the International Forum. He's written uh, quite a few business bestsellers on the financial services industry, and he is the National Humanitarian Award winning recipient. He hates it when I say that, but I'm so proud of it, I gotta bring it up every time I can. Uh, so with that, uh, Simon, the mic is yours. Thank you, Brad, appreciate the kind words, and uh, thanks to the audience for taking the time. I think this is gonna be a really worthwhile hour, hour and 15 minutes, because I think we're gonna review some things that are dramatically gonna help your practice, uh, whether it be with us or not, I think you're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, here's what we're gonna cover. Uh, we're gonna cover a turnkey prospecting system for both a life annuity uh, clients as well as retirement uh, assets, uh, how to create more net practice income for you, uh, how tax reduction plans for small business owners uh, can help reduce their taxes, which increases the budget that they have available to uh, spend on the things that you sell, uh, tax savings and income enhancement for W-2 employees and retirees, uh, tax saving, which is really a process, it's not a product, how to create joint ventures with CPAs, tax attorneys, property and casualty agents, which is really centers of influence to help develop uh, high quality uh, engagements for yourselves and them. Which strategy to use, why and how? We, we all kind of know what the strategies are, charitable remainder trust, charitable lead trust, pension plans, uh, captive insurance companies, et cetera. But sometimes it gets kind of foggy as to which strategy to use, and then how do you become uh, or develop the level of expertise, and why should you use it, and how should you engage it? And we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, access to resources with experts to help implement. We have uh, over 20 incredibly high level tax attorneys, CPAs and producers. Uh, we don't have them on salary, but we have them as part of our permanent faculty and they're designed uh, to help educate you and help bring you to the table with, with more and greater value. Uh, how to increase net after tax income from qualified plans, profit sharing plans, defined benefit plans, cash balance plans or IRAs, how to reduce taxes on retirement plan and IRA distributions, uh, how you can turn retirement plan assets into estate and income tax-free assets. So what is the center? As Brad said earlier, we're an organization that basically trains, mentors, collaborates, markets, provides access to resources, and delivers uh, prospects. We'll talk a little bit about how we're going to do that in a second. So building teams, using the, the phrase strategic planning teams by using our resources makes you bigger out there. It makes you more than you are by yourself or alone. So if you'll let us help, um, 
we can make a big difference. If you're making 150,000 a year now, with relative ease, we can increase that to 300,000. If you're making 250,000 now, we can probably get you up to 500,000. We don't have a horse in the race. You don't have to change who you're doing your insurance or annuity business with, keep your contracts. You don't have to change your broker dealer. You don't have to do joint cases with us. As Brad said, it's a, uh, a training and mentoring program. And it's kind of like my uh, desire to give back to an industry that I've been in now for 55 years uh, to help the industry elevate itself because we've had some damage done to us in the last few years, both by Congress and by producers. And the main purpose of this webinar is to give you uh, uh, a 40,000 foot view of what's going to happen at the Center's Live Academy, 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. Time, you know, sometimes we tend to run a little bit long. Uh, here's what I think the industry's two biggest problems are. So. I've been a member of uh, Top of the Table for 37 years. Um, that's the one of the highest levels of productivity. I've been a member of the Fortune, of, I'm sorry, Fortune, the Forum uh, 400 uh, for the last 20 years, uh, past president and CEO of that organization. The two biggest problems that our industry has is marketing and mentoring. Uh, I will tell you, marketing, where's our next case going to come from, is huge. None of us really knows where the next case is coming from. So we're all searching for ways to, to come up with where's the next prospect coming from. And mentoring, I will tell you that both as an athlete, an entertainer, and somebody in the financial services business, um, I would have achieved maybe 50% of what I've been fortunate enough to retrieve without high-level mentoring from people who were accomplishing a level that I wanted to aspire to. So let's first talk about marketing. Let's assume you're at a party and somebody asks you what you do for a living. How do you answer that question without developing commission breath? What do you say? Products and strategies are great, but you don't get to present them until you have somebody to talk to. So you've got five seconds to get five minutes to get 50 minutes. That's really important to understand. Five seconds to get five minutes to get 50 minutes. If what you say in the first five seconds doesn't move them, then you don't get the five minutes. And if you don't get the five minutes, you don't have a chance of getting the 50 minutes, which is the appointment. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So you've got three choices how you can respond. You could say something like, I'm a sophisticated investment advisor and we have the best investment platform in the industry. Or you could say, I specialize in helping people to create effective estate plans that minimize the estate tax. And what the client hears is blah, 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 because they've heard it before. They hear it from their stockbroker, they hear it from their insurance agent. What they don't do is they don't hear it from their CPA. Or you could say, I assist successful business owners and entrepreneurs in reducing unnecessary income, capital gains, and estate tax. That's gonna grab some attention because once you get them to talk, you have something meaningful, you have to have something meaningful to say. Uh, it, it's not perfect, but it is significantly better than the other two alternatives. So let's see where we go from here. So the key is access. Access is to talk about things that nobody else is talking about that's taxes. And we're saying danger. Taxes are increasing. Taxes are going to increase. We've been, we've been mentoring people on how to talk about taxes now uh, for the last six years formally, and I've been doing it for the last 20 years. Now, let me show you a graphic. The wealthy, your client or your prospect are under attack. In 1980, the top 10% of the wage earners in the country paid 49% of the taxes. In 1990, the top 10% was paid 55% of the taxes, and currently the top 10% of the wage earners pay 71% of the taxes, and we all know the taxes are ready to be increased. So this is an interesting little graphic. Where are taxes headed? Well, during World War II and even into the 60s, the taxes were in excess of 90%. Now, yes, there was a platform fee of, uh, where you had to earn an amount of income over and above that, but taxes drop precipitously under Reagan, and now they're slowly edging up again. Right now, we're at a federal rate of 37%. Biden's already said it's going to 39%, but it's going to go higher. In the state of California, even at the 37% rate, the highest tax rate, including state, we're at about 51, 52%. The average tax rate between 1913 and 2020 was 57% federal, plus whatever you've got as a, as a state income tax. And 
when Trump came in, he was able to justify some of his um, uh, deductions, uh, mostly for the wealthy, by saying you can no longer deduct more than $10,000 in state income tax and property tax. Well, in the state of California, that's a mortgage payment. That's a one month mortgage payment. So effectively, our state income tax is no longer deductible against the Fed. So do you think it's possible that changes in Congress, the executive office might suggest that taxes will go up again and again and again? Okay, let's discuss how to make money grow and just how important saving taxes is. So let's talk about a subject called, we call uninterrupted compounding. If you take a dollar and double it every year for 20 years, so effectively you're making 100%. If you took a dollar and double it every year for 20 years, how much money do you think you're going to end up with at the end of the 20 years? Well, without you doing the math, I'll do it for you. The answer is it'll be worth one million, almost fifty thousand dollars. Now, what if we do again? And here's the graphic that shows how that happens. Now you do exactly the same exercise: double a dollar every year for 20 years. Only this time, every time you make 100 percent, you got to subtract 35 percent for taxes each and every year. So, how much do you think you're now going to end up with at the end of 20 years? Well, the answer is $22,370. And if you're good with a financial calculator, you can run it yourself. That's $977,000 of unnecessary tax. If you learn how to understand and communicate this story, you're gonna have an unlimited number of people to talk to. Here's the graphic on that. A dollar, a dollar of interest, you lose 35 cents in tax. At the end of the year, you got $1.65. All right, so how can you reduce taxes for small business? Well, one of our tools is something called Tax Reduction Plan that's done by one of our tax attorneys that we have as resources. So to learn more about tax reduction, uh, you can join us at the Center's Live Academy. Uh, if you want more information on that, you can dial 877-258-2837. When we get to the end, we'll, we'll tell you what the pricing is. So let's go into marketing a little bit. How do you find the client? That's, that's always the next thing. How do you find it? Uh, so who do you talk to? Well, you can start with your existing client base because we're going to give you some tools, some methods, and some strategies to go back and re-engage with those clients. Uh, it could be existing prospects and expanding that prospect list or expanding the conversation. It could be wealthy people and business owners that want to pay less tax. Think about that concept. Nobody wants to talk about buying annuities. Nobody wants to talk about life insurance. And nobody believes anybody talking about how they can increase their yield and investment portfolio. But everybody wants to talk about paying less tax. The problem is they're going to think that their CPA, if they know something that would help them do that, will pick up the phone and call them. So you might ask them, when's the last time you got that call from your CPA with an idea to help reduce your tax? The answer is always never. Uh, owners of qualified retirement plans. Uh, doctors and dentists, property and casualty agents, CPA practices. Only this time you're going to talk to them with new tools, new words, new conversations as a mean to re-engage and expand the existing engagement. So how, about, how do you open the conversation? Here's some questions that you might use. What's your, largest, what's your largest expense? They might say my property tax, they might say my spousal support or my child support, but the reality is we can get them around to saying you're right. My largest expense is actually the taxes that I have to pay each and every year on my investment, on my earned income, on my unearned income. Do you believe the taxes are going to be higher or lower in the future? What is your plan to minimize this tax damage? What plans do you have to create tax-free income during retirement? Is your retirement plan self-completing if you become disabled or you pass away? What do I do? Well, I help business owners and entrepreneurs reduce or eliminate unnecessary taxes that they're already paying. So the, the response to that is going to be, oh, you're a CPA? And my answer is going to be no. Actually, I'm a member of an organization that helps to train CPAs how to do those for their clients. You must begin with the end in mind. So for instance, there are ways to set up huge pension plans with as much as million dollar contributions per year and automatically sell life insurance policies and gather assets under management. And there's a potential to include post-retirement medical care as well. You have to learn how to do zero tax planning for high net worth clients. It's easy enough to do for somebody making 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars, but how do you do it with high net worth clients? And we're not ignoring middle America because we have plenty of expertise and, and, and mentoring for the middle America client. But learning how to do zero tax planning for high net worth clients, if you can do it for them, you can do it for anybody. 
Learn the language needed to engage clients without talking about products. Premium financing the way it should be done, meaning that I don't have to worry about whether interest rates go up. I don't have to worry about whether the yield on my insurance policy um, is not what was originally illustrated. There are ways to be able to handle that without increasing the risk to the client. How to create $2.2 million in tax deductions each and every year for business owners with the blessing of Uncle Sam while simultaneously gathering larger assets for management. Uh, learn about a system to automatically add assets each and every year without looking for new clients. How to recapture previously paid taxes. It's an interesting conversation uh, that, that one of our speakers will be talking about in Orlando. How to create relationships with professional advisors, CPAs, attorneys, etc. There is a, uh, a psychological hurdle that needs to be overcome, and I believe we've got the key to do that. So what's the process for success? There is a process. Um, when, when I became a very successful athlete, I didn't realize that there was a process. And the, and the process is almost exa exactly the same in financial services or pretty much every business. You first had to have to have proper mentoring. Um, I was very fortunate, both in athletics and in this business, to have really some great mentors. Uh, you must have resources. In other words, I used to try to pretend that I was the smartest guy in the room, and the only one who believed me was me. Uh, the client didn't, the professional advisor didn't. That's why we created this, this nest of resources, uh, professional and otherwise, to help us gain credibility. Uh, the CPA tends to look down on people in our industry. They tend to look up at tax attorneys. So I try to have an, an involve a tax attorney in every single one of the cases I'm in so that we don't have the issues with the CPA. I sit on the shoulders of the tax attorney. I get reflected credibility. Proper discovery. It needs to be conversational. It's not just assets and liabilities. It's not numbers on a page. It's what's in between the lines, not what's on the lines. How to get prioritized, signed off goals and objectives. This is a major play that our industry has forgotten about that they used to have when I started, but goals and objectives it was, is what motivates people. Not, not the dollars, but what is it they'd really like to accomplish if they only knew that they could. Create strategic planning teams. That would include the client and anybody that's important to the decision-making a process for the client. It would include his CPA, it would include his attorney, it would include his brother-in-law who happens to have an insurance license but doesn't even know how to spell insurance. You want to get as many people on your side of the table as possible so that the client has confidence in what is being proposed. And if you do this correctly, you'll find that the client will implement because when he goes to ask somebody else what their opinion is, you'll have some control who, over who that somebody else is. How to attach strategies to the recognized goals and objectives that the client gave us up here. In other words, if we just lead with a solution to a yet unrecognized goal and objective, it's not gonna go any place. But if the client would say, well, you know, I really would like to be able to fill in the blank and you have strategies and attach them to the goals and objectives, you will find your closing rate is much larger and your sale, whatever it might be, is also much larger. So here's some of the top strategies that can benefit your client and increase your revenue. Number one, creating qualified retirement plans. That does not mean 401k plans. That does not mean profit sharing plans, although they might be inclusive in a cash balance or a defined benefit pension plan. How to reduce the tax liens on qualified plans or IRAs when people take distributions. I, I see people all the time who fill out financial statements, and when the financial statement asks, how much do you have in your retirement plans, they'll put down a number. Let's say that number is a million dollars. Well, the problem is they don't get to spend a million dollars. In today's world, they only get to spend the after-tax amount. So if they've got a million dollars in the plan and they've got 40% tax rate, they only get to spend $600,000. So the, the tax lien is that extra $400,000 of taxes. And, the, and there's taxed at three levels. The first level is the annual distribution, uh, required minimum distributions, you might call them. That adds up to a huge number. The annual distribution from 65 to age 100 gets to be gigantic. And what even gets more gigantic is the amount of earnings that they're forfeiting that could be being earned if they didn't have to pay those taxes on the distribution. Well, we can't eliminate taxes completely, but we can make a really significant debt. The second one is, is when they pass away, there is something called income in respect of the decedent, which is a death income tax on their final tax return. 
And then lastly, if they happen to be in a situation where they have estate taxes, and right, right now that's $23,400,000 between husband and wife is exempt. Everything above that gets estate taxed as well. But January 1st, 2026, that number is going to drop to $6 million each or $12 million as opposed to $23,400,000. So a lot of your prospective clients, a lot of your clients who aren't in an estate tax situation today will definitely be tomorrow. And I would strongly suggest that with the current administration and the current configuration of Congress, that you're going to see the tax rate's going to go up. Instead of 40, it's probably going to go to 50 or 55. And the exemption is likely going to drop to a million dollars each, not six million dollars each. That's not going to be tomorrow, but that's going to be in the next few decades. Qualified plan conversion to Roth IRAs, how to minimize the out-of-pocket cost for taxes on that transfer. How to maximize after-tax income from pension plans. How to, how to create advanced defined benefit plans that will automatically produce assets under management, the sale of life insurance and annuities. Exit strategies for defined benefit plans, profit sharing plans, and IRAs. Exit plan for business owners. How to minimize the long-term capital gains on the sale of any kind of appreciated asset. How to utilize section 199A, which is that 20% uh, reduction in income that came out of that Trump tax law in 2017, uh, how to use either S-Corp, C-Corp, or sometimes maybe even both. Here's some ta tax strategies continued. Uh, how to reduce personal and corporate tax to increase net after-tax cash flow. Using tax savings to produce tax-free income. How to do backdoor Roth conversions, no matter what your income is. How to make self-completing Roth alternatives. Charitable trusts and pooled income funds, large deductions to help fund your Roth conversions, 529 alternatives, 401k alternatives. It, it, there's an interesting methodology here. Once people understand what the pluses and the minuses are with normal 529 or 401ks, the, you might find that you're able to convert them to expand your practice. We'll have a little bit more about mentoring and educational resources. We provide access to the most creative and successful tax attorneys, CPAs, and financial planners in the industry, whose assignment is to work with you, educate you, and make you more successful. That's not a bad agenda. One of those, here's the Southern California Institute Academy homepage. They've got hundreds, if not thousands, of courses and events and quick start videos. Um, in, in financial, legal, estate, long-term care, business, real estate, and tax professionals become members of SCI to acquire access to hundreds and hundreds of digital and live educational events, programs with legal and financial subject experts, high-level technical and practice management education, and certification programs for legal and financial professionals, event partnering and management, a resource center for members, groups, and faculty to search and connect with each other, uh, we've been able to create a very significant discount, about 30% for members of the uh, Center for Tax Strategy. So here's some tools and access to the middle market, consumer content, branded videos, brand identity package. You can get access to these without cost. Multi-environment workshops, including life and annuity top, uh, topics, book programs that attract qualified prospects, scripting of presentations, all branding, graphic design, and custom studio produced video resources is included. Uh, let's see what else we got. Patrick Kelly Marketing Program. Patrick Kelly is a nationally recognized author. Uh, and that program includes, oh, let me go back. Uh, the Patrick Kelly Program includes webinars and seminar materials, all branded to you, not to us. Um, let's see, uh, product information, uh, sales tools, uh, brochures, everything that's done for you, just like up it says up here. Uh, one of the one of the uh, marketing programs is the Truth About Annuities. Another one is Maximizing Social Security. Another one is the Principles of Retirement Plans. And then we've got PowerPoint slides, slide handouts, and personalized client presentation in the personal needs arena, in the retirement needs arena. Uh, as you can see, uh, stretch IRAs, IRA rollovers, IRA reviews, split annuities, immediate income reviews, these all have presentations and handouts and client presentations for them. 
state and charitable planning, which includes all these items you see, a lesson in charitable giving, charitable trust reviews, planning for children with special needs, uh, life insurance and irrevocable trust, charitable gifts of life insurance, cross purchase, buy, sell, stock redemption plans for partnerships, for, for sole proprietors, uh, for, uh, for, for corporations, 303 stock redemption plans, seminars, handouts, slide presentations for all of these. Uh, business protection planning, key employee indemnification, business loan insurance, business overhead expenses. You can you can review these on your own, but it also includes employee benefit planning. I don't know anybody that even remotely has these kind of things available. If you want to learn more about marketing, you can join us at the Center's Live Academy. So if you want more uh, information, it's 877-258-2837, and we'll give you some more information on it in a bit. So how about mentoring for the upscale market? We talked about mentoring for the middle market, mentoring for the upscale market. You can be trained in the sophisticated areas of the tax law if you want to be, that only proactive CPAs and tax attorneys know about, or you can use our experts. So you'll get training to be able to try and do it on your own. I would strongly suggest that you not do it on your own. I bring a tax attorney or a CPA along with me on every single case I do, because I know that the client is going to go ask somebody their opinion about the things that we've talked about. So I want to have in, in, instantaneous and implied credibility. You can break into the doctor and dentist market. Our strategic partner is a 30-year surgeon, and she can train you what to do and, more importantly, what not to do and what the resources are. You can market to business and property and casualty firm with customized videos and documents in order to generate interest. All of our training and mentoring comes from CPAs, tax attorneys, top of the table, and 400 forum members. Forum 400 members, sorry. If you open the door, we can help you close it. Charitable planning, using the right words in order to generate interest. Let me give you an example. Um, if you start mentioning charitable planning to people, the problem is, and you will always get these kind of uh, recognized statements, if charity begins at home. You know, I, I've already given at the office. But if you talk about what something does as opposed to what it's called, you might find you generate interest. For instance, you could talk about a charitable remainder trust in conjunction with a family foundation, a life insurance policy, and an irrevocable trust. But let me tell you what's wrong with those words. Charity means I have to give things away. If I give things away, it means I'm poor. If I give, if I give things away, I mean I lose control. Irrevocable means I can't change my mind. Life insurance means I have to die to win. And irrevocable means that there's no way out. So let's talk about this instead. Instead, I might say, are you aware that capital gains taxes are voluntary? Are you aware that estate taxes are voluntary? Are you aware that if you voluntarily opted out of capital gains tax and estate tax, the government will actually give you a current income tax deduction today just for opting out of those other two taxes? And I'm not done yet. From there on in, if you set those buckets up correctly, you're going to be able to invest and reinvest under your dictatorial control any way you want to invest the money, and you will never pay taxes on those gains again. You'll be able to draw out as little or as much income as you would like. You'll pay taxes on the income. You could actually even become a multi-million dollar philanthropist some more, so supporting numerous worthwhile activities under the dictatorial control of your family in perpetuity and do it without disinheriting your children. Were you aware of that? Now, what I just described, was a charitable remainder unit trust, a family foundation, a life insurance policy, and an irrevocable trust. But I didn't use words that caused people to retract and not want to continue the conversation. I want them to say, wow, that's really interesting. How would you do that? There's, there's ways to have the conversation to use words that people will accept as opposed to what people won't accept. And if they like the results of something, there's plenty of time for them to do the necessary due diligence. Understanding the psychology of the engagement. That's kind of what I just reviewed. Learn why top of the table producers produce 10 and even 100 times more than your revenue. Trust me, we aren't 100 times smarter and certainly don't work 100 times harder than you do. So it's always the intangibles because we all have the same product. We all have the same taxes. We all have the same tax law and the same strategies. So that why this difference in result? It is the intangibles. It's not the tangibles. Learn why you're not able to create relationships and get referrals from professional advisors, CPAs, and attorney. Our CPAs and attorneys are going to tell you why you can't and what you have to change in order to make things more meaningful for yourself. 
there, there's an old uh, Rudyard Kipling ex expression that says the strength of the wolf is in the pack and the strength of the pack is in the wolf. So I'm the wolf. I get, I get strength and power by being involved and surrounding myself with eminently successful people. And that's what we have at the center. Non-efficient logic versus efficient logic. This is really interesting. We spent a lot of time talking about timing, combining, and sequencing. How you time, combine, and sequence, how you invest, how you take distributions, where you take distributions from can make a meaningful result. And this little example here is gonna share with you. Now, this is, this is a summary that comes from software that we get from Innsmark. It's called um, Wealthy and Wise, but it's how we use it and how we illustrate it because there's algorithms in this software that will decide which asset in which time and which in, in what amount can provide maximum to charity, maximum to heirs, maximum income for our clients. So let's take a look at what, what happens here. I think you'll find this very intriguing. Here are the assumptions that we want to provide annual after-tax cash flow of $200,000 a year after taxes index for inflation at 3%. Their current ages are 65 and 60. Their life expectancy is 93 and 88. Their net worth is currently $6.4 million. You need to trust me on this. The tax brackets, the yields, the turnover rates are, un are unchanged in each and every scenario. So let's look at the first scenario. The first one, we're calling this non-efficient. This is current what they're doing. If they keep investing exactly the same way as they are, and, and by the way, the, the, the software will show you what the various investment yields are, but they're the same in every scenario. It, the the 6.4 million after taking out 200,000 index for inflation net after taxes is going to be worth 12 million 200 thousand dollars. The transfer taxes is a little over 16 thousand 16 616 thousand dollars. The net to error is 11 million six, and the cumulative income they've taken over that 25 year time period is 8 million 500 thousand dollars. Now, all we're doing is letting the software solve for which asset should we access at what time and in what amount in order to increase the money to heirs. No difference in cash flow. It's still 8 million five over here. The estate would have grown to 8 million, 18 million 800,000. The taxes, because it's larger, we haven't done any planning, is 4 million 200,000. The net to heirs is 14 versus 11 million, $3 million increase. No money goes to charity, 8 million five net income to, the, to mom and dad. Now, let's, let's say, what if we don't care about how much goes to the kids? I want to spend more money. Well, if I want to spend more money, I could bump this up to 10 million five or 2 million more, and the estate still grew to 13 million, more than 12. The taxes would go up 2 million three. The net to the years is still roughly the same, 11 million three, and mom and dad got $2 million more to spend. Now let's start to do a little bit of planning. We're going to make some gifts of about 60,000 a year for life insurance. The estate would have gone to 13 million as opposed to 18 million, as opposed to 12. The taxes are 2 million nine. The net to the heirs is 18 million. Mom and dad still get to spend 10 million seven. And then lastly, let's do a little bit of philanthropy, which is nothing more than making a testamentary gift of our IRA or our profit sharing plan and still bought some life insurance. The estate grew to 15 million. The transfer taxes were 600,000. The heirs received 15 million seven. Charity got 4 million four as opposed to zero in all the rest of the scenarios. And mom and dad still got roughly $10 million of cash flow. I will tell you, I have made this available to CPAs, charged them $1,500. They have grossed it up and charged the client $7,500 in order to be able to go through because there's about 26 pages of documentation in each and every one of these scenarios. Okay, you can acquire doctor and dentist clients. Dr. Vicki Rackner, has now written six books. She's got uh, chapters in another five, and you'll see she's been quoted in just about every financial and non-financial journal that we have in the industry. She's the head of our uh, advisory board for the, uh, for the Doctors Academy of Economics, and she gives some very, very interesting insight into how doctors think and how they process information and how they make decisions. So how do you create strategic alliances with CPA firms, tax attorneys, property and casualty companies, or people that do assets under management or RIAs. But let's, let's talk about a strategic alliance with a CPA uh, group. Everybody talks about it. Very few are successful at it. Almost nobody has the keys. And we have the knowledge, the experience. We actually have some very interesting software 
and the success. This is where uh, 95% of my business has come from for the last 25 years. So there is a method, there's a style, and here's the psychology of working with CPAs. First of all, you must be well introduced. That could be from a client, that it could be from a professional advisor. Typically, I market to the tax attorney who then refers me to his referral sources, the major one being CPA firms. You need to interview them as to talking to them about how great you are. You need to share with them the tools and techniques to help them realize what's in it for them. We need to find out what they do and more importantly, what they don't do. I don't want them coming back a month later and say, oh, I do that. It might be the uh, the creation of a 5,500 for a profit sharing plan or the administration thereof. I wanna know what they do and what they don't do so I can fill in the gaps. What's working for them? What's missing? Have they achieved the success that they thought they were gonna achieve when they first went into the accounting business? Don't talk about yourself. Now, we've got a pyramid of success in order to review each and every one of these, it would take about an hour per block, but suffice to say that you need to profile the advisor, you need to be well introduced, you need to set the rules, you need to control the controllables, you need to draw your line in the sand, meaning telling them not only what you do, but what you don't do. You need to interview them, find out what's important to them. You need to know the tax law, know your product, and more importantly, value what you do, because if you don't value what you do, trust me, your prospect and the strategic alliance partner isn't going to. You need to be patient with them because they're not used to the kind of style that we have. You need to be a good teammate and create engagements and profile the client and be a problem solver and define what's in it for them. All are incredibly important. What do you say when a CPA asks you, what type of client are you looking for? I hate that question because it could be somebody that makes $200,000 and has discretionary income of $100,000. It could be somebody that, that generates a million five hundred thousand dollars a year and doesn't have any surplus money. So it could be net worth, it could be discretionary cash flow, it could be too much in the way of taxes. We got to be careful because now we run the risk of stepping on their toes and making them look bad versus elevating them in the client's eyes and making them more important and making them more profitable. So we created something called Facts Opportunities Results, our four programs. And, and we have a table that we do pension and IRA enhancement plans, investment alternatives, investment income plans, tax and retirement for small business, large owner tax and retirement plans, leverage estate plan, terminally ill uh, estate tax plans, zero estate tax plans, highly competent employee tax plan. I'm gonna show you a sample, one of them, the pension and IRA enhancement plan to show you the style and the format that we utilize when the CPA says, what kind of client are you looking for? So here were the facts. A couple in their mid-60s with two and a half million dollars in an IRA rollover account, the income of which they would never need. Their total net worth was $10 million and they wanna maximize the amount of money to heirs without risk and without invading their current lifestyle. Now the tax numbers you're gonna see are flawed because I put this together probably 15 years ago when tax rates, especially estate tax rates were lower. But, I wanna show you what the style is because what the exact numbers is not relevant. So here was the opportunity. These extremely conservative investors were highly disturbed when they discovered that after income and respect of the decedent and estate taxes, that their 2,500,000 IRA would only be worth 750,000 net to their heirs. So the results with collaboration and creative planning gave us the opportunity to substantially reduce the income tax while eliminating the estate tax altogether. The result was 2,400,000 was now available to the heirs without any further tax dilution, as opposed to 750,000. 1,550,000 of taxes saved and $80,000 additional revenue to our strategic partner. That's the way we present pension IRA enhancement because then I would have a conversation to the CPA and said, you know, how many people in your, in your practice do you think fit this criteria? He says, maybe 10. And out of those 10, uh, how many of them do you think would be interested in hearing about how to reduce the taxes by about three quarters? And he said, well, I got maybe seven. And out of those seven, which three do you think would be most likely to follow your recommendation if we did it in tandem and, and you believe that what I'm telling you is valid? He said, well, probably three. I said, well, I'll tell you what, why don't we run a little beta test program Let's pick up the phone, let's call those three, let's set an appointment with them, and let's let's you and I and the husband and wife sit and talk together. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. 
what's going to happen is in six months, two of those three are going to become mutual clients between yours and ours, and each one's going to develop between 25 and 100,000 of additional revenue to your firm. It'll give you a chance to see how we work. I want you to pick some people where no matter what we did, we couldn't negatively affect your relationship, just as a little test, and then you can decide whether you want to move further. In relatively shorter order, after five or 10 cases that we do jointly, you'll know most everything that I know. You'll be able to do it on your own. If you want us to be in the background to help, we'll do so. Uh, that's the way to talk to a CPA. They need to know what's in it for them. They won't admit it, but I'm telling you right now, that is the key. So to learn more about working with CPAs, the Center's Live Academy, once again, you can call 877-258-2837. We'll give you some more details in a minute. Here's some other tax-saving wealth planning and preservation strategies something called a legacy IRA. I'm not gonna review them all here. The Roth IRA conversions, the charitable income tax saving trust, the options qualified plan strategy for large medical groups, the tax deductible charitable retirement trust strategy with wealth replacement trusts, tax deductible medical and dental reimbursement plans, private placement variable life and annuities, interesting marketplace for the family uh, office, uh, liquid asset plans for income and estate planning, private insurance plan, 831B, captives, uh, trust to save high state income taxes, people wanting to move assets to the United States. They could be foreign nationals. They might be US citizens with offshore assets that they're required to report their worldwide income. How about automated video content marketing? You could have access to videos that are customized to you and your firm, each of which are a minute, to, a minute and a half to two and a half minutes that can show up on their phone on their iPad, on their iPhone, uh, that have identification only to you, not to us. If you go to buy this product on your own, I'll tell you where it is. It's called uh, uh, Selling Technologies. You can buy this program for $300 a month or $3,600. If you're a member of ours, you get it for $100 a month. That's a two thirds discount. Uh, it's everything from funding of retirement to buy sell agreement to asset protection to estate planning, done with professional actors professional um, uh, recording information. It, it's really beautiful stuff. Uh, automated video contact marketing. You could market and remarket to clients and prospects every single month and have access to a scorecard as to who, who the people are that listens, what they were interested in, how long they watched, watched and listened. You can also do exactly the same by marketing for your professional advisor network attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors, and their list of clients and prospective clients over their careers. Remember, their clients say the same thing, only the CPA chooses not to listen. The only time you call me is when you wanna charge me for something. Well, here's a way to be able to stay in touch and let people know that their professional advisor does have their best interest at heart. Would your prospecting be easier if you could do this on a continuous ongoing basis and all you've gotta do is supply them with a list? they literally will do everything else. That's included in that 100 bucks a month. And it doesn't matter what type of products, whether it be annuities or managed money or retirement planning or qualified plans, life or health insurance, long-term care, employee benefits, estate planning or property and casualty, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what type of prospects. It could be high net worth, it could be business owners, it could be pre-retirees, it could be post-retirees, 401k profit, uh, qualified plan participants or highly compensated executives or professional, it just doesn't matter. It works with everybody. You'll find out some things work better than others. It depends on your personality and what your client base looks like. If you wanna get better and you need coaching and mentoring, for some reason or other, our industry thinks that they don't need coaching and mentoring. And yet all great athletes, politicians, and business people have coaches and mentors, all of them. Here's an example. Here's Tiger Woods with his coach. Here's the uh, what was the Oakland Raiders and their coach. Here's Jack Nicklaus and his coach. Um, here's, I'm drawing a blank on this coach's name, but baseball players, tennis players, track and field athletes, um, politicians, everybody has coaches, mentors, speech writers. Here's an example in baseball. You have a batting coach. You have an infield coach. You have an outfield coach. You've got a hitting coach. You've got a pitching coach. You got a base running coach, you got a bench coach, and you got the manager. Only our industry, as I just got done saying, thinks that we don't need any coaching. I will tell you that my production has been 50% greater because I had great mentors in this business. 
as far as an athlete, I, I would have been a very good local player. And the reality was I wound up being the national and the world champion. And it was all because of mentors and the intangibles. And here's an example. For those of you that are baseball fans, you'll know what I mean when I say a 250 hitter. That means you get one hit out of every four times at bat versus a 300 hitter, which is three, three hits every 10 times at bat. Well, the season is 27 weeks long and there's an average of six games per week plus four at bats every single game equals 600 at bats. Well, if you get 180 hits per year, you bat 300. The result is you make $20 million a year and you've got almost certain entry into the Hall of Fame versus 150 hits per season, which is a 250 average. You'll still make 2 million bucks, but you won't get into the Hall of Fame based on that. It's 30 additional hits per season, which means one additional hit. It could be a bad bounce, it hit a rock. It could be if the infielder bobble, bobbles the ball and the score credits a hit. 30 hits, one additional hit per week, the difference between 20 million and 2 million. It's always the intangibles, it's never the tangibles. So Hank Greenberg, who's the ex-CEO of AIG said, all I want in life is an unfair advantage. And we think we've created any number of unfair advantages for you to be able to take advantage of. So what happens next? Well, you need a formula and it starts here. Just remember, if you utilize our formulas, a little help can make a big difference. If you're making 150 a year, we can get you to 300 pretty easily. 250 a year, get you to 500 pretty easily. So if you'll join us at the Center Academy, here's the investment that you need to make. For more information, call 877-258-2837, or you can email the center team at yourctsr.com the center team at yourctsr.com. Um, you can go to the website if you want to register. It's www.yourctsr.com. Under the upcoming events tab, you can click on it and uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, in, a, in a month. Brad, you got anything you want to add? Well, thank you. First of all, it's kind of hard to tell if you're excited about the center, Simon, because <laughs> <laughs> You covered, you covered about three hours of material in an hour, so thank you for your pace on that. Um, that's one thing I was just going to comment on, because we've done several of these live events. It's one of the only industry meetings in my 35 years that I've noticed that people don't get up and, and go take phone calls. They sit wrapped to, to the speakers, because there's just so much information that comes out, and it's things that you can go back and apply to your practice. Uh, I do have a couple questions, but I want to make one more comment before that. Uh, when you attend this event, uh, you will it, it's so nice to be able to talk to the subject matter experts between the presentations and on the breaks. It's a really great sense of community for people who care about this business and want to get better at what they do. And quite honestly, it's a lot of fun for everyone, including us. So we, we, uh, we really enjoy being together. All right. Well, okay, thank, you. thank you, Simon. And Take care.